How's it going YouTube? This is Wake Run Collapse and for today's video I've got a Keldeo Battle Strength deck opening. This is going to be a, you know, a smaller deck opening and a bit old. Uh, this actually came out in Japan in April of 2012, so right around the time I started getting into Japanese cards. Uh, but it is pretty nifty and I've had it in my collection for a little while, so it was time to bust it out today. Uh, so you can see the set list on the back. You don't need to be able to read Japanese to tell that there's 15 numbered cards in this set. Uh, a couple have two copies, a couple have one copy, and these down here, those are going to be some energy cards. Uh, so it is actually going to fit nicely on display in my collection, which is pretty cool. As I do sleeve in nine card pages back to back. Ooh, can we cut this open? Because I don't keep these boxes. Uh, that would mean 15 plus 3 is 18, so I could actually use one Ultra Pro, Pro Sleeve back to back to be able to get in. So, this is our deck right here. Should be a, what is that, it's probably a 30 card, 30 card deck. Oh, look at that. Tiny little poster. Uh, so you probably recognize the Keldeo artwork. I think this is a hollow and boundaries crossed, uh, but it did not appear in a regular Japanese set, just in this deck alone. So, ooh, more Keldeo stuff. And some trainers on the side and on the back. Oh, the glory days of what it was like to collect EXs for those first few sets. This is actually a really cool ad, like a little time capsule. You get the Hail Blizzard and Psycho Drive here on the left with the EXs from those sets. And in the center you've got the Reshiram and uh, Zekrom EX Battle Strength decks. Down here you've got Dark Rush with all its EXs. And over on the right hand side Dragon Blade and Dragon Blast with the Pack Art and its EXs too. So that's pretty cool. I might actually, I might actually keep that one. Usually I just throw them out. I'll recycle, you know. So. Ah, uh, here we go. So it looks like there's a little, little booklet in here, so let's turn to page one. Just kidding, it's telling you stuff about the game. If you can read Japanese very quickly, this is your jam. I don't know, I've never had any use to these, because I never read Japanese, I never learned Japanese, I'll probably never learn it. But it's pretty cool nonetheless to look at. So we're going to unsleeve and check out this first... Ugh. We might actually have a damaged card in there. That's kind of weird. We've got our Keldeo funnily foiled card. That is groovy. Look at that. Well, obviously, anything you see here, wow, that is powerful against that light. Uh, anything you see here is not going to be made available for sale because it is going to be part of a complete deck opening that goes into a binder somewhere for myself as part of my collection. But we will sleeve this card right now. It's pretty neat, and we're going to go through the rest. Should be fairly quick. You can see the numbering system at the bottom, 1 out of 15, with the little Keldeo uh, set marker there. They are not first edition. Probably no reason for them to be. Got a Psyduck, and another Psyduck, looking kind of pissed off, actually. And there's a Golduck, who is no, no slouch in the uh, angry demeanor department. Uh, there's a Cryogonal. No idea how he's feeling. Uh, there we've got Vullaby. And another Vullaby, followed by a Mandibuzz. This is pretty cool artwork here. Uh, there's a Skarmory right here. And a Clink. And this has got to be like an energy switch of some kind, I believe. Uh, there's a Great Ball and another Great Ball. The cards are actually sticking together a little bit. They've been in storage for so long. It's probably a regular switch. Uh, there is our... Funnily mirror foiled Rocky Helmet. It's not a shard hollow, it's just a slightly different hollow. But it's cool nonetheless. And an Eviolite with the same hollow foil pattern. That's nice. And here we have a Sharon. What black and white deck would be complete without a Sharon and a Bianca? And then the energy cards. You got a few water types, a couple. Darkness energy and a couple metal energy to correspond with the types represented by the Pokemon in these decks. But overall, pretty cool little bite sized opening to share with you guys. So, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit the like button if you did. And I'll be back here tomorrow, hopefully, seeing you here for another episode of the Booster Pack Frenzy.